already know why you're here. You want a woman attacking you, so attracted to you that she has no choice but to want to jump on your pole. I'm explaining to you the three things you need in order to make this happen. What's good with y'all, man? Hey, look no further. This combination is going to make you the most desirable catch that you can be, okay? This is how you're going to present yourself when you go out. This will increase a woman's attraction to you. This will increase your efficiency of closing with women, okay? And most of all, this is going to ensure that most of the time, women will actually want to attack you, okay? How do you feel about a woman attacking your Johnson? You feel me? How do you feel about a woman wanting to use her throat to strangle your Johnson, to hold your Johnson against his will with her throat? That sounds good to me. Here's what I figured out. There's a combination of three things. If you can do these three things, you will be good. First and foremost, guys, I need you to understand that body game is going to be dynamic. It's the number one thing that you can do. It's the number one thing that guess what? Every man can do starting right now, starting today. When you decide to make that decision to get your body on point. When you get your body on point, and guys, quick disclaimer, I'm not saying that you got to be the biggest dude ever. Pause. You don't got to be so fucking humongous that you got to turn sideways to walk into a damn room because you can't fit through the damn door. Nor do you have to have these trapezius biceps to the point where you can't even wipe your own ass. You don't got to be super duper swole. Some of y'all is injecting creatine into your ass. Y'all doing some crazy stuff just to try to get big. Listen, get a nice, muscular, lean body. Step one, get your ass in the gym, okay? I need you to lift heavy, do some consistent cardio, eat better. That's just to get your body on point. This is gonna transition into the next thing. As you're getting your body on point, this is what I want you to do to lure women in, to bait them. This is gonna be the first piece of bait. Right now, all these things coincide. You start getting your body on point, I want you to start wearing button-up shirts and or shirts where you can have them open like this, okay? And I want you to, at the very least, unbutton the top two. Some guys wanna sit here and have their shit all the way buttoned up, tuckered in, you looking like a virgin out here. Now you need to chill. I'm not saying that to attack any of you guys, I'm just saying, you got to show off your body. You know what I mean? That's why you want to wear clothes that fit you. That's why you want to wear, you know, clothes that accentuate your figure because you putting in work, bro. So you're going to wear your shirt open a bit to show off your chest. OK, on top of that, I want you guys to make sure that you are smelling good. OK, you got to make sure you're smelling good. Here's what's going to happen. OK. I'm explaining to you exactly what's going to happen when a girl pulls up on you. You got your shirt open a little bit. Your body is on point. You smelling good. A chick is going to notice you from a distance, right? From a distance, she's going to see you, all right? When she sees you, she's going to think in her head, he's giving off fuckboy vibes. Now, some guys going to take this as a negative. I don't think it's a negative. Because some women out here is like, okay, well, if he's going to be like, obviously they judging you, bro. But who's the one clapping all these buns? Who's the one getting all these cheeks? Those guys. Okay, I need you to be the type of guy that's going to be able to lure a woman in. Let's say a chick is attractive enough to you to the point where you want to sit down on her. Or maybe some of you guys still want to cold approach and do your thing. Okay, bet. When you get close to her, guess what? She going to start smelling an aroma a good ass manly aroma that's going to turn her on. Now, the first piece of bait was your body. I want you guys to make sure you are matching and dressing well, okay? Matching and dressing well. Clothes that fit you, that's going to go a long way. You opening the shirt is going to be the first piece of bait. At that point, you are visually pleasing, okay? Women digest men Physically first, even though they act like they're not superficial, they superficial as hell. Let's wake up to the real world, guys. I'm not here to sugarcoat shit. I'm here to tell you the truth. So now you are visually stimulating this woman. Okay. 
You've already teased her a little bit by opening your shirt. She might be turned on a little bit in her hand. She's thinking, oh, he a fuck boy. But guess what? Those are the poles they want to hop on. Those are the poles they want to ride. Okay, bet. You're going to be the best visually pleasing pole in her vicinity. Five senses, right? You're already covering one. You're visually stimulating. The next one, smell. Guys, get a fragrance. Some people want to say apply your cologne on your wrist and do that and then put a little here and then put a... Bro, spray yourself. I want you guys to get an oil-based parfum. That's what they call that shit. They try to be fancy and shit. Like instead of saying Target, Target type shit, they be on that. A parfum, bitch, give me the damn scent that's going to last long. The oil-based scents are going to last long. They're going to permeate off your body a lot stronger, okay? So I want you to get a good three to five sprays. Don't be extra light on it because you want it to come off of you. Okay. Now you don't want to be smelling like ass and then trying to cover it up with cologne. Some guys be doing that shit. We ain't talk about that. You want to make sure you are hitting her second sense, which is smell very strong, very pleasing to women. So you've covered two now. Now you're stimulating her visually and you're covering her sense of smell. She has no choice but to want to get close to you. Now, what I need you to do is not fuck it up. OK, I need you to not talk yourself out of some pussy. A lot of times, guys, when you are on point and attractive, it's really about you just not saying too much. You just being calm, cool, collected in the cut. This brings me to my third point. Guys, you need to have a nonchalant air about you. Some guys can't handle the bad boy energy. They can't just push it out there. They can't present that to women because they're a little uncertain about how they're going to receive it. OK, whatever. Typically, guys, in a woman's mind, Here's what they're already going to guess. They're either going to see you as a guy that fucks or a guy that doesn't. You want to be the guy that at least comes off as the guy that fucks. That's what the first two things are for. You already coming off like the bad boy. She's perceiving you that way. The last thing you want to do is talk yourself into being a nice guy or talk yourself into being, oh, that's not what I am. I'm actually a pussy. Like you don't want to be like that. Okay. So your nonchalant air about you is going to at the very least let her know that I'm not certain about this guy. It's going to at least present a level of mystery. That's what's going to really turn women on. It's going to lure them even more so because you've already connected two senses. Now you just connected mentally now. Okay. Now you get to stimulate them mentally. At that point, bro, you capitalizing on closing is going to be a done deal. You closing is going to be a done deal. You're not talking yourself out of pussy. You're being nonchalant. So that means that pretty much it's in her hands. When you leave things in a woman's hands, she's going to really let you know, hey, I'm trying to see you. I'm not. It's really that simple. It'd be clear cut. You don't got to play no games. She sees you. She likes you. She's smelling you. You got your scent on her. She's remembering that scent. Right. It's long lasting. Now, every time she thinks in her head, OK, this scent from this guy. Oh, I remember this guy. He's a guy. OK, his body was on point. Actually, he's very attractive. He had a shirt over. He kind of like a fuckboy. But then again, those are the only guys I want to fuck. So I might as well hit him up. You'll be the type of guy that she hits up. You'll be the type of guy that, hey, when she wants her fix at night or the guy that she wants to have a situation shit with. That's what a lot of these women are going for. They want a nice situation shit. This is also what that nonchalant is covering because a lot of guys, a lot of women had a guard up with guys because some guys can't handle having some steady pussy, right? Some guys already view women as a Cinderella princess and can't even fathom the thought of them just wanting to hook up with them. Oh, what? And then she's over here like, damn, he's a pussy. I thought he was actually a guy that was trying to sling some Johnson. I was ready to hop on his pole. I was ready to ride that man like a rodeo. Cowgirl type shit. She was ready to really just strangle your Johnson with her throat. And you finessed your way out of it because you got shocked. Or, you know, when she showed her true side because you sparked that attraction out of her, right? You turned her on visually. You turned her on because you stimulated her sense of smell too. Now she all thinking about you and shit. You nonchalant. Damn, this guy's damn near perfect. You perfect to be in a situation shit with her. You're the pole she wants to jump on and ride. Okay, bet. Sounds like a good situation. Sounds like a done deal. The only thing that's left, really, is for you to confirm 
whenever she is reaching out to you or whenever she makes that next press. Because when you're aloof, you already presented the attraction. She's either going to bite on it or she's not. If she don't bite on it, it is what it is. You chop it up to the game. That's how it moves. But if she does, guess what? You're not going to be sitting here waiting like most guys. She doesn't want to wait because she wants to have you. OK, she wants to jump on you. You have women attacking you more often than not when you practice these things in succession. Keep doing it. You continue to do this process. Actually, you'll probably get a handle of just expressing bad boy energy to the point where women are already going to see you and they're already going to know, OK, I already know what time he on. Some of these chicks will keep that in their memory banks. They'll see you again. And be like, OK, I'm going to remember who that is. The next time I see him out and I want some when I want some Johnson, I'm coming to see him. Or maybe they'll just want to holler at you right then and there, put themselves and make themselves open to you, choose you, send you all these signals. And then all you got to do is step down. Right. It just makes things a lot more smoother for you. And nothing beats a woman wanting to attack your Johnson. Nothing beats a woman that is enthusiastically driven to help you bust nuts. And that's what it's going to be, because I'm telling you guys. You have your body game on point. They are gonna want to touch up on you. They are gonna want to feel up on you. So automatically she turning herself on just from you being in the gym and sticking to your diet. You staying locked in on your goals. She going to want to fill up on you and stuff. She going to get turned on herself. Not only that, you smelling good, bro. You smelling good. Why wouldn't she want to touch up on you and smell it? She want to get real close to you, bro. So close. She might want to hold your Johnson against his will with her throat so y'all practice these things practice your mouthpiece okay don't say too much a lot of times just don't say too much if you looking on point bro you matching okay clothes is fitting good you showing some skin you carry yourself well you don't gotta say too much when you do speak though you keep it concise and to the point you nonchalant about it Bro, I don't see how, and you smelling good. I mean, come on, bro. Who's not going to want to fuck with you, right? That's the formula for turning women on. Use this wisely.